Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you are new around here, subscribe down below, click the like button, all that good stuff. It's massively, massively appreciated. And as always, if you want to watch me do this live on Twitch, click the link down below, come over if you've got any questions, concerns, queries, or you just want to get involved in one of the fastest growing FIFA communities out there, click the link. Uh, exclamation mark Discord in the Twitch chat will get you access to the Discord, completely free to join. Over well, nearly 600 people now sat in that Discord, having a great time. It's one of, the, in my opinion, it's one of the best communities out there. Very friendly, very welcoming to get involved. And as you can see, that thing there is this FootTrading.co.uk. This is a website that's been set up by myself and V273. We brought together my my knowledge of the lower end of the market, his knowledge of the higher end of the market. Pull it all in one place. These trading guides are completely and utterly free to to view. They will help you with any sort of trading, from chem style trading, silver trading to icon trading. Um, you can make, create an account for free, completely free here. And we've got paid for areas in terms of a subscription. It's £10 a month to get access to the buying prices. This is spreadsheets for special card trading, spreadsheets for every single profitable fil uh, filter for silvers on this, on this game, and spreadsheets for the most profitable icons with buy and sell prices. I used it last night. It worked very, very well. Um, and for the £15 tier, you get access to an exclusive area called Live Deals. Uh, this is where three times a week we will, between 8pm and 10pm, post deals that we find on the market for you guys to get. We won't be buying them ourselves to make sure you guys are making the most profit possible. We tested out last night. This is an example of what we do. We put them on there, give you the time of the deal, the card that we find, and you guys go and basically pick them up and buy them. If you want to get involved, click the link down below. It's free to join. Um, and then if you want to pay for the subscription service, like I say, it's £10 a month for access to all the buying prices and 15 for the tier 2 subscription. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo guys, so this video is a complete and utter revamp of League SBC method. That video's done incredibly well on the channel, but now we've got new sort of updates to it. So I really want to go into detail with you guys about what it is, how to do it, and the best ways to do it. Um, and sort of dispel a couple of myths from content creators. And the first myth I want to dispel from some content creators is that this method is free. Now, this method is only free if you have some if, if you're able to trade and make coins yourself. Because a lot of content creators are like, oh, I'm opening these packs for free, but they're not because they're buying FIFA points, which means that's how they're stocking their club up and getting coins to do this method in the first place. So that's something to think about. But before we go into that, I just want to show you guys how we did on some of the buys we bought yesterday. As you can see, we needed 3.3 million on the market. And uh, this John Barnes, I used the website yesterday. It has the prices on the market. Um, so let me quickly have 11 that. Um, so this John Barnes, we picked up yesterday for 170, sold for 195. But all these cards, we saw, saw me pick up some of these on, on the uh, video yesterday. So we made a good profit on them. But these have all been sold in the last 24 hours. For a profit after tax of about 250k now, uh, we're up at, and we've still got on the market an Okocha selling, Lukaku, Dokore. So we've got a lot of cards selling, so big, big profit been made. Uh, we're massively pleased with what we've done on the website, but yeah, I can clear that all off now because it was all blocking off the website, so blocking off the trade pile even. But League SBC method, right? First thing to talk about is what is League SBC method? Essentially, it is a method whereby you convert bronze cards that are unusable into silver cards. Convert the unusable silver cards into gold cards, the unusable gold cards into gold rares, and so on and so forth. The reason we do this is because if we go to the Players SBC now, so you get an idea, all the League SBCs have come out, right? They're all out now with their third player. So if you look at League One Conformer, they've got Cyprian card, uh, Shakiri came out for the Premier League, but yesterday and the day before, we got new players for Chinese Super League. So 88 rated Leonardo there. We've got this Apara card, which is incredible. Absolutely incredible card. Um, we've got Liga Nos, which got Getterson. We got the Saudi League, which got Souza. And the one good thing about a lot of these cards, a lot of them are Brazilian, which is very nice for linking. Uh, Super League got Cruz, which is an 89 rated card. Um, the Championship got Murphy, 88 rated card. And the Eredivisie got the Musonda, I think it was, yeah, 88 rated card. So people ask, firstly, what is the point of this method? Firstly, it essentially gives you packs for little to no cost, right? Let's be honest, people love opening packs on FIFA, so people will open packs with FIFA points. With this method, you don't need to. You can continue to rinse and repeat these SBCs. What I have seen people say in all the time, I've seen a lot of content creators talking about this, and saying that the packs are completely free. Again, I don't believe the packs are completely free. Um, you may have to top up a, play a club, for example. So let's say, theoretically, I've got eight players from West Ham. I probably will buy nine, ten, and eleven, because it means that what I can then go and do is get that one done, get that pack done. It's about recycling it and, and doing that. However... If you are using the trading methods I've shown you or any other trader has shown you, these are free coins. These are coins you've made yourself. So it doesn't really matter what you spend. Now, what is your starting point on this, right? Your starting point on League SBC method is always with the bronze packs. My, my advice is put 
50k every few days in. If you're making, let's say, for example, you're trading and you make yourself 150k in a week. I personally put 150k into this because the reason why I say that is number one, you get packs, you might pack something brilliant. Obviously, that's an obvious one. But number two, a lot of the players that you get from these are high rated. And the reason why these cards are so good is because you can then put them in to other cards that are SBC cards. Now, we've now got Sane, Ramos, Boateng, Vidal, Hazard, all as cards that you can now get to the end of the game. Now, if you look at Sane, he is an 84 squad, an 85 squad, an 86 squad, and an 87 squad. Every single league SBC has a player minimum 87 rated. So this squad could be done for free. This one can be done for free. Free, free, basically. Just opportunity cost, okay? So that's the most important thing. So what you want to do is decide in your mind. Now, I personally, I do every single league. It takes longer. It's more of a grind. But I'm going to be bringing out a video each week showing you how the grind's going on it, basically. So we're going to keep doing the grind and seeing what, which club, like, clubs we picked up and which players we picked up, etc. I'm going to try and do that once a week for you guys. But for me, I'm going to do all the leagues. So there's no point missing out on any leagues. You might as well do them all now. They've all got very good uh, cards in them. So there's no reason not to. But essentially what you want to do, if we, we'll, we'll open up a couple of packs and I'll show you the, the mindset around it. Go browse packs. And you want to go bronze packs. And you want to open up a bronze pack, right? And we'll skip it. I'm not going to sit and watch the whole thing come through. But you basically want to open up this bronze pack and you want to see what's inside this pack. Now, when the pack opens up, you will see the players that are in your pack. So basically... This guy's useless, this guy's useless here, right? Those two are useless there, and that guy there is useless. Well, he's not really useless, he can use him for championship, but he's quite low rated. But you could use him for championship. So we've got two non-league SPC, two league SPC players, okay? Now we're going to check this guy's price. There you go. So straight away from the first pack, this guy's a 4,000 coin card. I knew he was anyway, because it's him and another league, another sort of player from this club are both expensive for strikers. So I'll just save myself 4k on that pack. So now... The thing that people have been asking me is how do you make profit from your bonds packs? Now, bonds pack method is when you sell everything in the pack and make profit. With this, you don't do that. Your profit comes later on. So with League SPC method, when you open up these bonds packs, you're keeping all your players that are League SPC players. So your cost is going to be 50,000 coins. The things that will make you some coins back, I'll list them off. Squad fitnesses sell for about 700 to 1,000 coins, the bonds ones, depending on the time of the week. Single player fitnesses will sell for 200 if you mass list them up. There are managers, specifically, um, I think his name's Gert. He's a Netherlands manager. He's like two and a half, three K. And other little bits and bobs will make you some, some coins. So like player attribute cards, etc. They can make you some coins, okay? So you sell everything like else that isn't useful in a pack. You quick sell it. All this stuff is not useful. Always check the price of your kits. These ones here are expensive, but there are two or three that sell for quite a bit. Um, these guys are like expensive, so we clear those out. And we send those to the club, right? Now you rinse to repeat that, and you keep going, and you keep going, and you keep doing that, right? So over time, you will pick up Loads of bonds players that can be used in the team to League SBCs. If they've got a League SBC uh, card or a team or whatever you want to call it, if they've got a team, you can use that bonds player in them. The ones that you don't have, you want to go to the upgrades. And what you want to do is you want to go to the bonds upgrade and you will... The easiest way to do this if you can do it, if you get enough. Once you get enough, I probably haven't got enough right now. But you want to go squad actions and you just want to do squad builder, for example. And you choose a league that hasn't got a League SBC. So let's say theoretically, we'll go bronze or we'll go league. But now I'll do League 1, but I don't know how many League 1 players I'm going to have. So I've literally got two to my name right now because I cleared my club out. I did it recently. Basically, you pick them all up and you'll fill this up with those, with those players. You'll probably have 20, 30 of each, of each league that hasn't got a League SBC. And you convert those into silver cards. Any silver cards you get from that pack that are League SBC cards, you keep. Now, the good thing about that is if I give you an example in my club right now, I'm pretty sure I've got a Sheffield United striker who's untradeable. I've got a Paderborn player who are nearly 10k normally. So we'll go quality, silver, league, Premier League. Um, I'm going to go advanced field, we've got untradeable. So I've got this Clark, for example. He normally sells about 5 to 10k, depending on the time of the week. He is completely untradeable. He will go into Sheffield United, which is one of the most expensive SBCs on the game right now. If we go to, uh, let's go to Serie A, if we've got any in there that is expensive. So Pinsky can be quite expensive normally as well. Bundesliga. We've got this, this guy here. At the moment, I don't think he's very expensive, but normally he can be a lot more expensive than that. Uh, you can't check his price. But normally they're about 5 to 6k for Paderborn players. So you keep all the ones that are League SPC cards and you get rid of any ones that aren't League SPC cards and you put those into the silver upgrade which will give you three rare, no, three non-rare gold packs, right? Three non-rare gold packs. So you get three non-rare golds. Again, any, any SPC, League SPC golds, players that can be used in League SPCs you keep. Any that aren't, you put into a gold upgrade which will give you a two rare pack. Now these packs are great anyway. Number one, when you open this pack up, you may get a, I don't know, an 80, 78 and a 79 from, I don't know, let's say Marseille. Cool, you can use them in a Marseille SPC. 
But sometimes with these packs, you will pick up high rated cards. I got a Vatongan from one the other day. You can pick those up. Those high rated cards can then be used in player SPCs. Again. Or first owner objectives for icon swaps. Something no one really talks about with this, this whole method. First owner objectives for icon swaps can be useful. Um, but you've got those players then, they're untradeable, and you rinse and repeat this. And this method keeps rinse and repeating, and what happens is, you build up players in your club from each team. To the point where you get to 7 or 8 from the same team. Once you've got that, in my opinion, that is the time then to go and buy 2 or 3 of the players, finish that pack off, move on, and then you keep rep rep repeating it. The one thing you don't really want to do is keep getting too many duplicates of the same team. So when I get to 7 or 8 players of the same club, I tend to just go, okay, let me now buy the rest of the players. However... Another thing that people don't talk about, and it's because a lot of the time I don't have knowledge of the silver market, I saw a content creator, I'm not going to name them, say, oh, I've got three of these players now, and I'm going to go out and buy these players, and they were all 10k cards from Dijon, okay? Dijon's one of the most expensive uh, cards, like one of the most expensive packs uh, you can do, because Dijon players are very expensive, the silvers are all like 10k. If you wait until we get silver supply, so that can be, silver supply is part of a pack SBC, so let's say a rare election pack, it can be from a player SBC, or more importantly, on Thursdays when we get marquee matchups, although we don't know what's happening there with Corona at the moment because there are no games on, but with marquee matchups, you get silver supply. Those players crash in price. That is the time to buy into any, any teams that you're missing out on. So let's say, for example, you have got eight Dijon players and you need three more. Buy those players on a Thursday when the silver price has crashed down. You can pick them up for half the price you would do normally, and that's how you save yourself some coins. Once you've done that, over time, you will then pick up a player. So you would have done all the SBCs for an SBC and you'll then pick up the player, right? So let's say you've gone and done them and you've finished off doing the CSL. Let's say CSL, right? It will give you the option of these three cards for obvious reasons. You take Leonardo, okay? You just do. He's an 88 rated card. So you have the 88 rated card Leonardo there. That is your, now yours to own. So what can you do with this Leonardo? First thing is, let's talk about icon swaps. I've been doing icon swaps and all these players are probably at some point going to be needed for icon swaps, okay? So if you look at I don't know, League of Nos right now has got an Icon Swaps one. You can use the Getterson in that to help you the squad battles are a requirement. All the major leagues have got one. You can use this Verdi, which is actually a very, very nice card to use. This Verdi, you can use him as a first owner Serie A player. Once you've done that Icon Swap, you can then put them into player SBCs. And that's the most important thing here, is you're going to be vastly reducing the cost of player SBCs in the long term. All these players that are here to the end of the game, you can choose one. So, for example, I'm going to be doing this method. One of the major reasons, I want the Fatal. But I want the Fatal, sorry. So I'm going to be doing this method for Fidel because I want this card. I've got uh, Semedo untradeable at right back. I've got a Diego Carlos. I want this Fidel card, so I'm going to do this Fidel card. And I'm probably then going to buy Messi, move my Bernardo Silva to the bench, and I've got Messi, Fidel, Semedo as my right-hand side, which is perfectly fine. But to so pick up Fidel, you buy it to get Fidel. But he's there for the whole game now. You're in no rush. Now he's, he's an 85, 86, 87, right? So now you know all the league SPCs are giving mainly 88-rated cards now. So that's that done. His, his squad there would be done by this. 65 Kim. So La Liga Santander players minimum one, team rate note 86. Most of those players are going to cover this. And there's a lot of Brazilian players, which is great about this, because they all give you some sort of chem. You may have to throw one or two players into this to get your chem up, but even ways, you're saving yourself coins, so it's not a problem. And the 85 rated team obviously can be done with that. But they're all going to be there. So last year we did this with Icon Swaps, uh, Icon SPCs, sorry, because the Icon SPCs, it meant you could do the League SPC method, because some of the cards were 90 rated last year. They were high rated cards. You, you literally spend about two, three hundred K and get yourself a prime moment, a prime Ronaldo or a prime moments Cl Cliver, for example, that I used. Um, but it was a really good method last year and it's now effective because there's a lot of good cards being kept here. So the grind is real now. The grind is massively real. However, there's other things that need to be talk talked about. So I spoke about opportunity buy-in in terms of buying the cards you need on top of the players on the Thursday. Opportunity selling is massive with this method because... Some of the players you're going to get are going to be untradeable from the upgrades. However, when you open up these packs, so let's say you get a League One Conformer, for example, and you open up the, let's say the Angers SBC, right? You might get yourself a really good player that you can sell for coins anyway or put into a player SBC or whatever you want to do with it. But you'll also get tradable players. So you get tradable silvers, which can be used in the SBCs again and rinse and repeat, because that's the other thing about this. It's not just the upgrades you're doing. These, these packs also put more golds and silvers back into your club. It becomes a cycle. But... You'll also get tradable players from random leagues. And I want to talk to you about opportunity selling. Getting these players is relatively simplistic. As long as you grind it out, you will be fine. But yesterday, a pack got released. Um, it was a rare players pack. And it was 11 players from the same club with 11 different nationalities, I think. And so some of the market went absolutely mad. So look at Christian Benteke. Right now, he is at 4,000 coins for a Christian Benteke 75 rated card, okay? So you're in a situation where you think, well, hang on, 
I've got this card. I know I can get him back once this SPC is done anyway, so I'm not too stressed. You can sell all these cards. All these cards that are expensive. Christian Benteke, I saw another one earlier on. I think it was... It might be another Palace one. I can't remember the exact name. I don't know exactly who it was, but... Either way, you check the price of your players. When these SPCs come out and everyone's like, check your clubs, which you should be doing right now, by the way, you can then go, hang on, I'll sell this Benteke for 4K because I know at some point in the near future, I'm going to get a 75 or hitted non red Benteke again. And you can make big profit from that. And that's how, even though you've put maybe 150K in, you start going, actually, I've just made 150K from all these guys. So every bit of thing in my club right now that hasn't, doesn't need to be sold, that hasn't got a value in terms of selling them right now, is now pretty much completely free from what I've done before. And that's what I can't stress enough about it. It's free if you're, if you're sensible about what you're doing. If you think, oh, actually, I can sell these players now rather than putting them into the SPC, I'll sell them now and get them back at a later date. This is the fun part of the game now. Now these cards have come out, you can use any of these League SPC players in your teams, but you can also get any of those, of those players that are in the player icon tab. So for the grind, you can do that. And, and, and if you're holding some of these League SPC cards as well, when an SPC comes out you really want, you can go, actually, I've got the most expensive squad done because I've got all these players here. But you can also be making coins from it by selling these players at this time, getting them back at a later date when Ben Teke's worth 800 coins like he is normally, for example. And that's, that's really how this method is going to, be, going to work and how it's going to be so effective. And it's only going to get more effective as the game goes on. As the game goes on and more SPCs come out and more cards come out and more OP cards come out, you'll be in a position where your club is stacked with 2,500 players and you're just rinse and repeating SPCs every day. And during promos, for example, if you know Foot Birthday is coming, these packs can be stacked up during Foot Birthday. You can stack them, stack them, stack them, have 30, 40 packs to open on Foot Birthday. And if you hit a decent Foot Birthday player and you spend 200k on these, on these bronzes bit by bit over time and you hit a Foot Birthday player worth 200k, well, it doesn't matter because you can sell him and that's your coins back. And those coins can go back into this method again to keep going and keep going and grinding it out so that that Ezen Hazard you want or that Sergio Ramos or that Leroy Sane you want, you get them a lot easier and a lot cheaper. Now... You can be as patient as you want with this. You can be really, really patient and just do the League SPC grind and use that. But there's no harm in going, right, well, I've done the two most expensive squads, so I'm now going to buy the 85 rated squad. Go ahead and do that. There is nothing wrong with that at all. It's, it's just about reducing your cost. If you're patient enough, you can do it completely for free, but that is a long time. I understand that people might not want to be sitting there going, hang on, I want to do this grind and I don't want to do this grind. But I, I do this grind and I pick up, whenever I pick up a high rated card, a lot of the time I tend to sell walkouts that I get. The reason I sell the walkouts I get it's because the League SPC cards cover that anyway. But if there's an SPC that I really, really want to do, like Vidal, I won't do that. With, my, with Vidal, I'll be like, actually, let me just completely grind him out. Let me just bang out Vidal as much as I possibly can. Every card that I pack will go straight into Vidal, held onto for Vidal, and then Vidal ends up, ends up in my team and I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I've got a Vidal for next to no cost. But I'm going to be doing this method from now on. I've been debating whether I'm going to bother with icon swaps or not. I don't know if I really can be stressed with... Div one, I, does it, div, div one icon swaps, it is a grind and it's doing my nothing. I don't think that method and not that uh, that sort of grind is good for anyone's mental health. So I'm probably not going to be bothering with that. But I want to try and bring out a video each week where I show you guys who I've grinded towards, what the club's looking like, and just give you an update on how the League SPC grind's going. Because we're going to be doing that. There's no harm in doing it at all. And just keep grinding out basically and just see what we can achieve by the end of this game. See if we can get a lot of those cards from the player SPCs done. Um, but that is a proper run through of how League SPC method works. With debunking some of the myths, I keep seeing people say, oh, it's free, but then I see them buying FIFA points. I'm like, well, you're not free because you're buying FIFA points. The way that you get the coins for this is by trading. If you want to make it completely free, the way you get the coins from this is by trading on this game. So trade with silver cards. Come over to the website. The website gives you three guides completely free on how to trade with these cards. Come over to the website, read those. If you want to join the website, like I say, it's £10 a month, but it will be £10 a month well spent. We'll do everything we can to make you guys coins. Um... But that's how. Use your trading profit so that you're not using your own coins. Your team's staying the same. And your trading profit is just going into getting you to be able to open packs and get really, really meta players to improve your team in the long term. But that's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully this has really helped you guys to understand League SPC method. If you have any more questions, feel free to come over to Switch. Come over and watch me live and ask me any more questions about it. And I will help you as much as I can. But for now, lads, I am out. Peace out. I will speak to you soon.